Um, hello. Uh, so this is uh, Victoria and me, Jan, uh, and we're gonna um, yeah present a bit to you the um, our collective, uh, Open Source Design Collective, uh, of uh, which many people are already here. Uh, can I have the people who are part of the collective stand up, uh, please? <laughs> Because it's not only us, Renata. <laughs> So these are the people you can uh, talk to about uh, regarding all of the stuff that we're going to talk about. And they're also the people who have talks throughout the day. Uh, and uh, they're also the people you can talk to about how you can join. Um, yeah. Uh, so um, let's start off. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, exactly. So, uh, yeah, first of all, you can find us on opensourcedesign.net and uh, uh, on uh, Twitter at OpenSRCDesign because uh, the usernames cannot be longer than that. Uh, so, this uh, is kind of the entry point. This is the opensourcedesign.net uh, website, and from there you can already see that we do uh, a whole bunch of different things. So, uh, for example, um, there's a resources page uh, that uh, Katy also mentioned before, where there's uh, yeah, a bunch of different uh, how, how to get um, open source licensed fonts or icons or um, uh, different other design resources. Um, there's projects, which lists uh, open source projects, and there Des uh, their design pages, so how to get involved into a specific project, or you could also list your project there if it's not yet. Then uh, we do events like this uh, open source design track uh, at ApacheCon. Uh, we have a forum to discuss. Uh, we also organize a summit. Uh, but one of the biggest things that we do, uh, or one of the most successful uh, things, is the job board. Uh, this is uh, some screenshot from the job board, and uh, this is just uh, some tiny percentage of the jobs uh, of the jobs that are listed there. So you have, for example, um, uh, Wikimedia is listing their actual jobs there, so you can apply uh, through there. Uh, there's paid jobs, there's free jobs, there's design a logo for us, there's uh, do a full uh, UX review, do usability testing, and so on all kinds of things. And the best thing about this is that if you have an open source project that you maintain or that you take part in and you need design help, uh, then you can just post the job um, and it will just show there. So uh, this is a, a sort of a community service. And then if you're a designer or if you're no designers, then you can point them to uh, this uh, job board and then they can just pick up um, any jobs that they like. Then uh, these jobs are directly also going to be posted into our forum, uh, which is at discourse.opensourcedesign.net, um, which is also linked on the website. And there also, if you uh, want to just kind of um, discuss or kind of, uh, if you're someone who's interested in design uh, and you want to introduce yourself, we, for example, have this introductions thread where you can come in and say hi, say what you're working on, uh, discuss different resources, um, yeah, organize events. We do, for example, as you can see, um, the organization for the FOSDEM 2020 Open Source Design Dev Room. Uh, everything is kind of uh, happening there in an open way. Then, of course, you can follow us on Twitter. Um, I mean, yeah, this doesn't need to be a separate slide, but it is. And because we're, <laughs> and because we're uh, open source, uh, we also use Mastodon. Uh, follow us there, too. Uh, feel free to. And, of course, because uh, there's two parts, there's open uh, source and design, uh, we're also on GitHub, where uh, our website is, of course, uh, at. Like, it's fully open source. We use Jekyll. If you know about that, uh, if you have Jekyll skills, we need more people with Jekyll skills who can help us with the website. Uh, the job board and the, the event uh, page is also there. So, so like everything we do, we work in the open. So uh, yeah, please uh, feel free to join. So not if you're not only if you consider yourself not a designer but a developer, we need more of everyone working on all kinds of things in the community. And then one thing that we're uh, doing since some time is uh, uh, we use this platform co called Open Collective, which you might know. It's for um, mainly for uh, getting donations because we're just a yeah ragtag band of uh, individuals, uh, not. Uh, a formal uh, nonprofit, but uh, Open Collective uh, allows us to take donations for things like uh, printing stickers, uh, like like this here uh, that we also have. You can get some, uh, like um, yeah, 
posters, like promo material, like paying for the domain, stuff like this. At the moment, it's only paying for these things. Uh, but yeah, if uh, everyone donates, then maybe we can organize bigger things with it. Uh, the future will tell. Uh, and we also, for example, organize uh, or use it for event organization. And event organization is something that Victoria will now tell you more about. Uh, yeah, this is the history of our uh, tracks at Fosdiem. Have you been to Fosdiem? Uh, awesome. Have you seen us there? No, then next year you have a chance. <laughs> because we, we grow. You can see we started in 2015. Uh, and uh, it was very challenging, I can imagine, because we had to explain what do we talk about there. But these years we don't have to explain anymore. And people understand and appreciate design and come more and more to our track. Uh, so we are accepting now um, talks for the next year. If you have a successful or not very successful story about design in your project, you are so welcome to join our community. Uh, yes, yeah, getting bigger and bigger. And uh, we also go to other places. Uh, have you ever heard about a big f uh, FOSS uh, uh, conference in Singapore, FOSS Asia? Okay, <laughs> our community knows it. We go there uh, every year and organize a track there, so check it out. It's a great community as well. We've been to CCC. Uh, we organize our own uh, summit, uh, which is huge, you can see by particip participant numbers, and, but it's amazing. You're welcome to join uh, uh, next time, maybe next year, right? And what is more important, I think, is that it's our first year in Apache conference, which we want to celebrate, because uh, we think that Apache way uh, of treating community and thinking about community is very important, which we want to learn from. And uh, uh, my story started with Apache in 2017 when I came to an amazing event in Seville, and it was amazing, because uh, despite that I had the only one talk about design in a very technical conference, it was very welcomed and accepted by the community, and I understood that community is over in this place. So it was a pleasure to bring uh, this track here this year, it's the first time. If, uh, if it goes well, I hope to continue with it. Uh, so now we are at Apache. Um, what is next? Yeah, it's our summit. Uh, all the people that uh, joined in 2018. Uh, this is today, indeed, uh, Apache con, con I already uh, talked about it. We will have four more tracks uh, after lunch, four more topics. Uh, and also an important event tomorrow, uh, a free workshop uh, on usability and user research. It will be uh, in Seabase. Uh, we probably might still have uh, free seats there, please apply. Uh, it will be four hours workshop starting from 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I've seen already uh, what is it about. I will be there. Uh, Belen will, uh, and Bernard will lead that uh, workshop tomorrow. Please come. Join our community, I yeah, guess. <laughs> and you already actually joined since you're here. So consider yourself a member of open source design community. Uh, and uh, for, uh, join us in all our next events and on our talks. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Now we're going to have a break, break for one hour. Yeah, uh, lunch. Uh, lunch yeah. time. Are there any questions? Um, any, uh, anyone who wants to get involved? or? Um, we will be here for the whole day. Do you wanna, uh, I will bring you a mic. So you said we could submit jobs to the job board. What's the process for submitting those? Should I answer? Uh, yeah, so you just go to the to the website and there's, uh, yeah, on top it says jobs and then it just has a button that says post a job and you have a form and it just asks some details, so for example, uh, name of the project, um, what your purpose is, uh, where your repository is, because it needs to be an open source project um, and uh, then uh, also what uh, a way to contact you is. Uh, so, so this is the main info. And then also because uh, as we said or as we showed, 
there are um, some uh, free jobs on there or gratis non-paid jobs, but there's also paid jobs on there. So we also uh, ask for that if it's gratis or if you have a budget. If you do have a budget, uh, we, we do encourage you to, to put that in there uh, or to, to allocate some of the budget for design because yeah, that is also how design gets more recognition, especially among designers who are not in open source because yeah, people need to get paid for stuff and so we should pay design also. Does that answer the question? Or? No. Thank you. If you could go over again, um, I think you mentioned two different events. One is a summit, and then there's, I think you have different tracks at Fostum. And can uh, designers submit sessions so that they can participate uh, as part of your collective? And how does that work? Oh, that's uh, that's very easy because uh, anyone can submit a talk to any conference that we organize track at. We just uh, take uh, a little bit of responsibility of uh, organizing voting, which is always open in our community. We never decide internally uh, who gets in, who, so you can always vote yourself, even if you do not uh, have a uh, talk. Uh, so. Uh, you just go to the website of the event, FOSDEM or Apache Con. Uh, you see the registration form, and that's it. Uh, so whatever you want to talk uh, about, you think it belongs to uh, design in general, then we're so welcome to our event. <laughs> <laughs> so I was wondering, um, uh, I guess I have a specific uh, topic in mind. Um, because of my previous job, I, I, uh, I was engaged in uh, design research studies. So do you have uh, content like that when you... Um, I, I only just found out about uh, open source design recently, so I didn't check out all the repos, but I was wondering if you, if uh, design research is a topic that you're interested in or if you already have content or tracks uh, in that area. I think it's one of the main topic we discuss mm -hmm. <laughs> the research and how to uh, how to understand use, uh, user and humans need who use the software. Uh, so the first uh, talk today was about usability research. Workshop tomorrow will be about usability research. On our first day, uh, we have uh, very mature topics when it comes to research, how to uh, use data, how to distribute data of your research, uh, all, all, everything from research to design systems. So it's uh, it's uh, very, I think it's becoming very high level and mature topics uh, these days, uh, uh, just like in, in the industry, not only in open source. So it's, it's, it's very welcome with that topic. But now I think our submission uh, that, uh, for FOSDEM is open, so, yeah, so you can so. submit today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And, and also the, uh, in the forum that we that we showed uh, earlier, we also have an entire subcategory uh, for um, what is it called research? I think research and usability testing. Like we have like interaction design, uh, logo and asset design, and also an entire category for for this. So yeah, you're very welcome to join. Yeah, Billy. And, uh, we're very much open to other stuff, more participatory kind of stuff, design for research, research through design, all that stuff totally fits. So if you have any on those li anything on those lines, we'll love to get your proposals fast. So I think we have a new open source design member, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if anyone want to comment why are you here? Why did you find it interesting? Maybe you want to comment on something? Uh, oh, okay. So I... Um, I think having this network is very important because uh, it's frequently hard to find um, resources that are freely licensed that you can use, design resources, like for example, icon collections. Um, unless, once you start um, working in, in the area, uh, you start to learn and then you kind of like have your own repo of, of things and lists that you check. And I personally, that's how I learned about uh, Font Awesome, the Noun Project, and things like that. Um, and then everything I created, I, I would release under a free license. Um, and so when I found these, I'm like, oh my God, my people, like I, like, I need to learn from you and, and also would love to if, if, uh, contribute something if, if there's something I can contribute, yeah. <laughs> this is great.
Yeah. Any other? Very, very cool meeting you. So, mm. <laughs> who else? So I'm a front end web manager, um, and so I work with our designers a lot, and understanding their mindset helps me build the code easier, and um, I can also communicate better to them the restrictions that there are in developing for web, a web assets. So some of the tips and tricks were good for me to understand why the designers are doing what they're doing and will help me call out when they make those type of mistakes, if they do. Oh, this is a great comment. I think that uh, the, one of our, our main purpose why we do that is to learn how to talk about design, uh, despite that we all come from different areas. Uh, so that's why we facilitate events to talk about it and de develop language. And I'm wondering uh, if, or do you have a, um, uh, I mean, there's still half of the talks are still to go, but I'm wondering uh, just also from looking at the schedule, is there anything that you're missing in an, in an open source design track, like anything that you would be interested in that you think uh, is important and that is not, that we're not offering? No? That much relaxed to talk in the microphone, but anyway. Um, I um, consider myself as a design thinker, but I studied industrial design. Uh, so I'm <laughs> afraid to talk to here, but uh, anyway, I feel that uh, design thinking, uh, it's not just a title, but um, we need it as a kind of uh, strategy uh, or mindset. Um, uh, I'm studying um, web development, but always I feel Uh, and uh, I think that uh, you touched on very sensitive, top my favorite topics, uh, because uh, people say I'm not a designer, and this is yeah. so not true, uh, because as long as you uh, change things or, or create things, you design them. So uh, everyone here is a designer, and uh, you're a designer thinker. It's even greater than that. So <laughs> thank you for your feedback. Um. I, I, I didn't explore all the resources you have, so you may have this, but uh, at several times I struggle with uh, very technical things like um, uh, sharing a design that I made in SVG format and you think you have it and then you upload it and it looks all uh, fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> And you're like, ah, SVG, but then SVG is the open format that is editable, and I just wish it wasn't so buggy. But like, also I feel like uh, there are a lot of technical aspects to SVG, it has a lot of potential, and I think it would be great to have a better understanding of that, and maybe, uh, I don't uh, training around uh, how to do that in, in several steps uh, would be great, yeah. So there's um, one or even, I think, two members of our community. Um, one is uh, Sam, I think, Sam Muirhead, who has this whole, like, it's on the forum also. It's a whole thread about SVG and, like, yeah, the difficulties and the... I, I don't exactly know the entirety. Like, I, I scrolled through it, like, a while ago. Uh, but this might be very interesting for you also. Um, yeah, it's on the forum. I guess if you search for SVG... Um, yeah, yeah. I, I will definitely look it up. Yes, yeah. thank you. Cool. Any other thoughts? Thank you so much. It was really available for yeah. us and thank hope you. to see you on our next session in one hour. Thank you. Thank you.